missing. Somebody out there knows something. Abducted. They raped her. Vanished. Please help him come home. You're our only home. You might be the difference these kids need. You might be the one who helps return them to their home. According to witnesses, her innocent 10-year-old daughter, Bianca LeBron, was lured away by a predator. Walk her back. She would have told me not to you. I miss my sister so much that I want her to come home. I just wish I could have Bianca right here right now. Can you help psychic Jeffrey Wands identify and locate this kidnapper? There's a scar, there's an earring. I think most definitely that this is going to get resolved. Missing children that desperately need to be found. You can help. Uh, this morning, my son walked out the door to go to school. Tens of millions of parents every day see their kids walk out the door to go to school. What would it be like? if they never came back. That is the nightmare that my next guest, Carmelita's reality. Her innocent 10-year-old daughter, Bianca LeBron, was waiting in line at the schoolyard when, according to witnesses, she was lured away by a predator. Every single second since that day, Carmelita has thought of nothing else but bringing her child home. Watch. My name is Carmelita. My daughter, Bianca, has been missing for the last six years. Keep Bianca's picture all the time with me. Just keep it close to me. That's the only thing I have of Bianca. I want her back. Everybody think it's easy, but years pass by and it's been harder and harder every time. It was like any other day. She got ready for school. She ate breakfast and then went off to work. The last thing I said to her was, bye, I'll see you later. I found out that she told her teacher that she was going to speak to her uncle and she'll be right back. I had a pit in my stomach because she doesn't have an uncle. She went towards a van where there was a man in it. And she went in it and that was the last time that I saw her. We started looking everywhere for her, the mall, her friend's house, and we started calling all her friends. My youngest daughter, she's 10. The same age as Bianca disappeared. I miss my sister so much that I want to come home. We live to play, play a lot together. I miss her a lot. And it's hard because I sent her to school and I'll be, I'll be watching her. I don't want to go through the same thing again. I don't trust nobody. I just wish I could have Bianca right here right now with me. I would squeeze her, kiss her, don't let her go. So this is what we did. We sent psychic Jeffrey Wands to do an investigation in Carmelita's hometown in Connecticut. And we're going to show you the results of that a little later. But first. What was your reaction when you heard this story about what she said to the people at school? It was terrifying because I don't have no brothers, I only have sisters. Right. She told who? A teacher she or her told, friends? She told her teacher and also her friends. That she was going to go with her uncle. She was going to go talk to her uncle and she was going to return back and she never did. Now this all happened at what part of, uh, of the day? In the morning, around 8.30, 8.40 in the morning, before going into school. She was out at school? She was at school. She had gotten to school. She was in the yard, in the schoolyard. Actually, she was with her teacher in line to ready to go in, and he let her go when she said that. So you didn't know from the morning when she got to school mm -hmm. until 5 o'clock. You just assumed she was in school. Exactly. I see. Anybody see that van? That's very important. And you have a sketch of what the man looked like who said it was, that's the man who claimed to be her uncle? This yes. is the sketch? Yes. And you have another daughter? Yes, I do. Janisa? Yes. How old is Janisa? She's 10. So Janisa is the same age yes. as Bianca was. Yes, she is. When she went missing. Now, we sent Jeffrey Wands to your home. Now, Jeffrey had no prior knowledge of this case, had never met Carmelita before. So take a look at what happened. Without any background information on the names, faces, and places relating to this situation, Jeffrey Wands traveled to Connecticut. While walking around, he tuned in to his clairvoyant abilities and took detailed notes on what he was sensing. Jeffrey then sat down with Carmelita. But I wrote down all these things, I was thinking of Elaine from Seinfeld, I was thinking of LeBron James, and then I was thinking of uh, Bianca Jagger. Elaine, that's her middle name. And her first name? Bianca. Okay. Last name is LeBron. Okay. Well, it's interesting because you show me this picture, but then I see somebody who looks more like a teenager now. Right now she's 16, she's a teenager right Okay, because there is also a reference to June. June, that's her birthday, the 26th. Now, did she have a mark on her head? 
-hmm. Believe me, you know, when you have this strong personality, she's very, very strong willed. This is not a shy kid. No, she wasn't. Jeffrey struck an emotional chord in Carmelita with his accurate knowledge of her daughter. He then recounted the last day Bianca was seen in public. I see a jacket and I see a, 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 a cap too. And so this had to be either like October, November when she was grabbed. She disappeared on November 7th. This is definitely not somebody that's relative, a relative. This is definitely someone that was like either watching her or knew her schedule because I'm on this street and I'm also in front of a school. It feels to me more like an abduction and it's definitely somebody that's into little girls. The school thing was the thing that I felt right away. This is somebody that used your name because I feel like I came to pick you up, your mom's gonna be late or whatever it was. That's the feeling that I get. I have to tell you, this is definitely somebody, a younger male. This is definitely what I consider to be dark, Hispanic. When they describe the person that they saw her with, he was dark-skinned and young. But he looks weather-beaten to me, you know what I, what I mean by that? Yeah. In other words, like, there's wear and tear, so to me there's a scar, there's an earring. And the marking of the face, it was also mentioned when they described them. And he talks, like, very funny to me, which means he has a really heavy accent, because that's the way I heard it. The little girl said he can hardly speak English, right? what I say? I heard the accent. Where would I find her? I never say never. Once again, Jeffrey Wands has utilized his psychic powers to provide valuable information to a mother desperate for answers. Well, Jeffrey's backstage right now. Let's bring him out, everybody. Here's Jeffrey Wands. <laughs> so, one way or another, is Carmelita going to get closure? I think most definitely coming up that this is going to get resolved. Okay. Now your other daughter, Janissa, is now 10. Mm -hmm. That's the age that Bianca was when she went missing. Yes. And Janissa wanted to be here, yes. wanted to come out and plead for any information. And here she is, Janissa. Remember much about your sister? Yes, I remember that she used to bring me to school. She used to help me with my homework and reading. You wanted to be here today with your mom to talk about Bianca. Why is it so important for you to be? Here? It's important for me to be here because Bianca belongs to with us and not with anybody else. Bianca LeBron went missing on November 7, 2001. If you or anybody you know has any information that might bring Bianca home, to her family, please call 1-800-THE-LOST. That's 1-800-843-5678. And hopefully this is gonna be of some help. All righty? Okay? Yes. Fine, we'll be back right after this. Her 13-year-old daughter, Kayla, was abducted by two strange men as she was walking down the street. She realized her abductor was stripping off her clothes. They raped her, the both of them. But this brave young teen escaped, and she wants her story to be told. I just want to give their families hope out there. 